Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have a really cute and punny Father's Day card tutorial for you. We are going to be featuring our just popping by to say you're the best pop for Father's Day and of course pops with our popsicles. Now I have a lot of things that I've already pre-made or cut so I'm gonna go over all my little Cricut cutouts for my popsicles. I'm also going to be using the Just Poppin' By to say you're the best pop which I will be stamping onto my banner. So I don't need a cutout for this guy because it's gonna be stamped right onto the banner. As always I have my tape glue runner, my blocks, Today I'm using the Jacquard color pad in the color Harbor. And this is a really nice kind of rich blue and I thought that it would blend nicely with my greens and blues that I have going on um, for my card. That way also we can switch it up and use something a bit more fun than just a traditional black. In addition, I have some of my foam feet. These are strips that I cut um, so that when I remove all these pieces, they can be backed onto this little frame so it pops up off of the card. And this is just some textured cardstock that I cut with my Cricut. I've already cut, folded, measured uh, my greeting card. This is just a four by four and it's going to be opening vertically. So when everything is all decorated and included, it'll be this really fun kind of greeny sea foam color um, that I think not only fits still with Father's Day, but the summertime, the cool popsicles, um, and just the overall vibe. In addition, I have my little tweezers and I have some different markers here today. Right now I'm going to be using the Artline Supreme brush marker. Um, and these are super cute, great color, and the case actually snaps into a little stand, so they go like this. This is in, uh, I want to say the neon package, fluorescent. Um, so I have yellow, orange, pink, green, and then I have another pack over here um, with some more vibrant normal colors, not that kind of highlighter style, but... I have both of these because I might be uh, interchanging them, but I'm not sure yet. I have some more foam feet, and then kind of off to the side, I have all my fun embellishments. Um, some little confetti, some gems, and I might put a little twine on my card, but again, I'm gonna see what happens with my process. So, a lot of stuff that I just went over, but I'm gonna get started. So, looking at all of my things. I'm going to set anything off to the side that I don't need right away or that might get messy. I'm going to open up my stamps. Oh, love that sound. And I think I'm going to start with this kind of fudge-sicle. But of course, these stamps are completely blank, so if you want all of your ice cream to be chocolate or frozen yogurt or um, a mixture of both or even those really fun red, white, and blue popsicles, I always liked those. I'm going to make sure looks good. And let's start pressing this in. Another way that you could add a little bit more um, of almost the same vein of design. Let's say I did want to keep this as a fudgesicle. I could get some brown ink. Let's say I wanted it to be a raspberry yogurt pop. I could have some pink ink. It's all up to you. Not bad for my first one. I'm gonna set this guy aside. I'm just gonna keep going and grab my next one. I'm gonna go at an angle for this guy. I'm 
And now I'm going to move on to my banner. And I'm going to grab my medium size block to fit. All right, so I have everything stamped and I really must say I do like this color. Um, again, that's Ocean by Jacquard, uh, their color palette, color palette. This is the color Harbor by Jacquard and really pretty pigment ink. So now I have all my popsicles done and ready and I'm going to Pull them over here. I'm going to kind of keep with this fruity theme of bright colors, greens, blues, but first things first, I want to color in the little stems or the popsicle stick. And to do that, I'm just going to take couple of my Prisma colors because I don't have a nice brown in my art line. So I'm just going to find and as you can see I'm just lightly dabbing the marker into the paper. I'm not smushing it. All right, so I got my stems. Ooh, that's really fun. So that's my fluorescent. This is just the normal. So that could be kind of a fun blend. Let's see. Maybe I'll do this guy. And I want to start with my light. All right, that's pretty fun. Maybe I'll do some blue. Could even do like blue and green. But I definitely want to stay in my same tone. Don't want to be changing it up too much because then it doesn't look cohesive. And what I mean by that is, let's say I throw, you know, a bright purple in here. I've been really particular on what colors I'm using. And if I threw in a bright purple, it might just throw the whole apple cart off. I do really like these art line markers because they have a lot of build ability. So if I do two layers, it's going to look even better than just one. And if I continue to layer up and add additional shading, it's just going to look better and better, more polished. that aside. So this is almost like a highlighter so I just don't think that will go with the overall vibe. Got some stuff on there. Then I'm just going to go in with my white gel pen. So 
So now I'm really gonna start focusing on my placement of my popsicles because I want them to be not only within my frame, but also filling it up. So it's not just, you know, a bunch of popsicles over here and then all this empty space. Because what I will have is my just pop and buy on top with this on the bottom. So I definitely want there to be maybe even a pattern of blue and green. Could even do kind of like an arch. You might be thinking why I'm going to the extent of setting all of this up before I glue anything down. And I just answered the question because I wanna make sure I'm happy with what I have. I don't have to do any mistakes or rip things off or second guess this way. All right, I see it. I know what I want to change and I can do that now before it's too late. If you were feeling really minimalist, you could even just do one, but I think there has to be a little bit more. Okay, let's move that. And then I have my frame, I have my foam. I already cut it all out. All right, I have my little frame set in place and I'm just going to hit this little text with my tape glue runner. I really like how the font turned out with this as well. And I want it in the center as best as I can. Kind of tap that down. So a pretty cute card and what I ended up actually creating that I failed to mention is this is what we would call a shadow box. And a shadow box is exactly that. It is something that is elevated to create a shadow or depth effect to it. So it's a nice way to kind of punch down um, your subject matter. So that's exactly what I did. And it has a pretty neat effect. Like I said, if you could add some maybe clear plastic or a type of vellum to create that seal and have a little shaker effect, you could absolutely do that. But for what I have created and for my supplies, this is what I have and I still really like it. I think this is also a great way to show your appreciation to a father or father figure in your life. So with that said, we would love to see what you will create using our stamp sets. So take a picture and hit us with a hashtag stamp with us. That again is hashtag stamp with us. And that way we can see what you will make next. Thanks for joining.